Welcome to VIP and Vinos. My name is Chuck Van Fleet. We're here today at Vino Grill and Spirits with Don Nealon from Sports Clips. How are you today? Good, Chuck. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Sport Clips. Uh, yeah, Sport Clips is a salon specializing in men and boys haircuts. Um, it is a franchise with over 1,400 locations here in the United States and Canada. And my husband and I are the local um, owners. Uh, we currently have four locations, two in Clovis, two in Fresno. Um, we have one in Turlock. Um, and we're very excited to announce we're going to be opening a fifth location here in Fresno over at Brawley and Herndon. Yeah, great location, and we're gonna have great co-tenants, which is very exciting. We're gonna be next to Dutch Brothers, which um, will be obviously a very popular place as well, and we're uh, with the tractor supply store that's already existing there. So it's gonna be a new build out, and we're really excited. I gotta tell you, expanding today, I mean, it's, it's always scary to open another business, but the way you guys um, run your business, I mean, I'm a customer, and I love going in there, and I can be in, a talkative mood and talk to you know somebody cut my hair or I can just watch TV and it's it's fun but uh, tell me what you do what you're doing locally with the community um, well that's one of the things that we're very proud of is uh, being a local business owner we're able to support um, our community through a lot of efforts some of our favorite ones um, is we donate free haircuts to the California blood bank so when someone comes in and makes that donation they um, receive a free haircut from us. Um, also, um, Got the Dot is another favorite one of ours. So if you are an organ donor and you show that you have that pink dot on your driver's license, that gets you $5 off of your service. And then we love supporting our local schools um, through donations to auctions or um, bringing our sporty mascot out to events. Um, any of those opportunities that we have to participate in our community makes us um, very, very proud to do so. Um, and then on the national level, Sport Clips as a whole, all of the franchises, um, supports um, Help a Hero, mm -hmm. which is um, uh, fundraising efforts where we help uh, veterans who are exiting the military um, uh, pay for schooling um, when they get out. We also um, do Dream Flights, which helps former veterans and seniors um, get rides in a biplane, which who doesn't love that, right? right. That's a ton of fun. Um, and then St. Baldrick's, which supports um, cancer research, and that's where people will shave their heads. And of course, our stylists get out there and they love to do that, <laughs> and people get donations for that. Um, so we're, we're very thankful to be able to participate in all sorts of um, uh, charities. Well, good. Tell me about your the services you offer. I mean, I go in there, I get my hair cut, I get a nice warm towel on my face and things like that. So tell me about those. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Um, well, first of all, we always use great products. Paul Mitchell, top of the line, we use their TT, T, tea tree products. So when you get that, you get that wonderful scent and a little aromatherapy. But with our MVP treatment, um, of course, you get the great haircut. Uh, but you get an old-fashioned hot steam towel on your face, um, a relaxing scalp massage, and then when you return to the stylist chair, you get a uh, shoulder and neck massage using this great little device. So it's a little mini spa treatment, which everybody can enjoy. And I love it. I usually come in around noon or one o'clock and get my hair cut, and then I'm ready to go for the rest of the day. And, and your hair looks good. great, I gotta tell you. Thank you they very much. They do a good job. They do a good job, <laughs> I do. Um, so what questions do you have for us? Well, one of the questions that came to mind was, and it's random, if you were to be stranded on a deserted island, Chuck, what would be one varietal of wine you could take with you and one item off your menu? Um, that's a tough one. That's okay? a tough one. It, it's really <laughs> tough because I mean, I'm so used to just picking up wine and drinking whatever I'm in the mood for. Mm -hmm. But um, I would probably, if I'm on a deserted island and it's hot, I'm probably going to take rosé. Ah, yes. I love rosé. Okay. okay. Um, and rosé goes with so many of our dishes and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I could take any of the cheese plates, any of our charcuteries, our salmon platters. I mean, it would, it, it's just, it goes with everything. So, yeah, that's one thing I would do. Yeah, and that was one I had thought of as well. Mm -hmm. I was torn. Merlot, rosé. Well, I love Cab, and I'll drink Cab okay. every day, but... You're thinking a hot island? On a hot island. I mean, the ideal pairing would be a great French Bordeaux and our lamb app. 
Okay. But, but the lamb app will only last so long, so I need something a little bit cooler. Right, right. And it, an item off your menu, what would you choose if you could only have one item off your menu? Um, probably our salmon platter. Okay. Okay, I love it. We, uh, we bring in fresh salmon every week, cut it up, cure it, smoke it, and then uh, just get it ready for the plate, and everybody seems to like it. Oh, it sounds amazing. It's good. Yeah, sounds delicious. So, do you have any other questions? Um, another question would be, you brought up charcuterie plate. That's something that I love to make when I entertain, but I feel like there's a range of flavors, you know, a mild salami to a spicy salami, or a mild cheese to a bold blue cheese. So what would be one wine I could put with that platter that kind of meets all the the needs? What would be a good pairing? You know, when it comes to those spicy, you don't really want to go with red wine. Okay. Because the heat in the meats or the heat in a sauce or something like that will actually make the wine hotter to you and it, it heats up your mouth. So I tend to go with more white wines, more Sauvignon Blancs, more Chardonnays. Um, something that's not really overly buttery, okay? Something that's a little bit more crisp and clean and it'll just change as the wine opens up and warms up, it'll change with the charcuterie plate and you can get different flavors from the cheese. Oh, that's good to know. It's awesome. A couple of years ago, I, a friend of ours brought in this 2001, it's called Batard Montrachet from uh, France. Very small area and we had a cheese plate and it took us over an hour just to drink the single glass of wine because it changed so many times. And with all the different meats and cheeses and everything, it was beautiful. And people ask me to this day, what's one wine you can always think of? And it is that wine and that experience. Oh, that sounds like fun. Um, I saw that you have a very exciting upcoming winemakers dinner with Duckhorn. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. We're so excited for this dinner. Um, Duckhorn is actually has so many different varieties, so many different brands nowadays. They just purchased Costa Brown, which is a high end Pinot. So we're start. We're going to do a five course pairing. We've got a Chardonnay of theirs. that's really nice. We're going to go in with a Costa Brown, which is usually about hundred dollars a bottle. Then we, we're gonna go with the Merlot, the Cabernet, and then we're gonna end our, with a dessert with a uh, Golden Eye Pinot Rosé. Mm. And the Rosé, my wife just puts on the menu, Jen's dessert. She doesn't know what she's making yet. She won't figure it out until the week before, but I know it's gonna be absolutely wonderful. Um, it's $125, including tax and tip, and people can make reservations right on our website. Oh, sounds like you can't beat it. You can't, it's a good time. One of the reps from uh, Duckhorn is coming down. All of our dinners, we make sure we have somebody from the winery. We wanna make sure that they're getting the, uh, all of our guests are getting the actual experience, okay? And hear the whole story of what ha how the wineries became and where they're going and what's new with them. So it's a good time. Well, we will look forward to attending that. It sounds amazing. Well, good. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you, Chuck.